And for St. Clair College, we have Caillou, Smiley, Chillin, Truth, and Affair. And for the side of Wichita State University, we have Sui, Junk, Thiessen, and Marv, and Biscuits. St. Clair went undefeated this season, had a very, very strong season so far and they are the one seed a big big favorite over Wichita State University but on the other side Wichita State University have won their last four matches so they are coming into this game feeling very very good about themselves and we're gonna have our Saints on the defense here and it's gonna be Wichita State University on the attack. Uh, St. Clair gonna have Breach, Omen, Cypher, Deadlock, and Neon. For a side of which that's going to be very similar but not uh, quite the same. They're opting to go for an Astra. A bit more utility, not a bad idea. But let's see how the first pistol round goes. From the look of things, Wichita State University have three members stacked. They're going to be looking towards that B site, but the bomb. It's going to be probably going there as well, expecting a five-man push in the pistol round. Probably the best idea here. St. Clair going to have a split setup. Three people near that A side and a couple on B, obviously, on such a close range map. Have to be careful for these quick pushes as it's going to be a couple more seconds till the round starts here. And now which does the university... Looking to make their way to this B side. You can see St. Clair instantly... Gonna start rotating over as they could sense this one out. And now they are spotted out. Truth is able to survive and relays a lot of information to the rest of his team. But it looks like Wichita State University are gonna opt to rotate out of a B there. They weren't too confident with their pushing powers there. Now they sprint over to A. But there is a member here. It's gonna be fair. Picks up the first kill. I think spots out a second. If Eric can get out with his life here, would be massive, but it's gonna slide across, challenge the whole team as a huge flank comes in here from Smiley. Picks up one fair, does fall down, but it's a huge, huge uh, stun there. Smiley gets a second. Caillou picks up one more. Smiley gets the 3k. Will be giving the Saints the first round as they do start off hot. I mean, they just pinched Wichita State University from all angles and did not let them breathe at all is now St. Clair gonna be buying some weaponry here you can see a guardian and a bulldog coming out for them but a couple of members also gonna play it a bit uh, greedy from the look of things chillin truth gonna be sticking to that ghost and trying to make this one work out so they can get the bonus in the next round and really get the ball rolling here but the second round is gonna start off and it's going to be another slow B push here coming out from which to now they look to go be quickly. So we looking for some shots with the sheriff here. Now gonna be able to find the truth. Gonna throw out some utility here. Caillou's gonna find the opening pick onto Marv as now the swing comes through. Truth finds one, finds the second. Gonna find all three there with the Spectres, which at the State University start to drop like flies. It's gonna be all up to junk here. It's gonna be looking to clutch this one up, but not gonna be able to find anything. A quick and easy round here for the Saints as they take the 2-0 lead. Now they're going to be looking to put themselves in the bonus here. If they can win this round, they could really mess up their opponent's tempo and economy. So let's see how they decide to play this one. If Wichita goes for another B push. I feel like we're going to be seeing the same kind of repetitive rounds where they try to rotate back, but it just doesn't work out. And now it looks like they finally will be looking to switch things up. Headed over toward that A site. They have all the weapons they could ever want. This is a must win around here for which does the university fair gonna be playing very aggressively. There is a one-way smoke here, so has to be careful and knows cannot push up too too far. As the Silver Dart's gonna come out a huge stun though. Can he pick up any kills? Is not able to find anything. Smiley does pick up Sui on the flip side, so it's going to be a one-for-one -one trade and no real room found yet by which the state university they're playing a little bit too passively here on the attack i feel like they need to put a bit more pressure on the saints here and make them respond to some sort of play the swing here gonna come through from truth 
picks up a Marv Junk. Is able to spot out Chillin. Chillin's gonna take that one on one and win it as well. Truth looking to push through. Knows there's Astra around this corner. He's gonna look for the shots. Is gonna be able to find the kill. That is Spike down. And it is only T Sin left. Gonna get taken down. Sinclair looking very, very strong to start the map. Which is the State University. Just struggling to pick up kills. You can see only two kills. But the entire team combined. So. They are definitely struggling here now. It looks like they can't afford a real buy. They have a couple stingers in there. And on the other side, St. Clair going to have a full, a full a buy. So this is going to be rough for which the state this round. It should be nearly impossible for them to win this one. The Saints have been playing so well to start off this series. It looks like it's going to be another kind of slow kind of push, but there is a Neon sprinting through, but it's not going to be able to find the initial kill. Truth does pick up Junk as well as Thiessen does find a trade onto Chillin, and Truth in a lot of trouble, going to get taken down as well. Makes it a three on three, but Saints continue pushing forward. Fair, thought he got the kill there. Turn away at just the wrong moment as the Saints going to be able to pick up another round. That's going to be a team ace for them. Great job, everyone doing just their, enough of their part to pick up that round as the Saints go up 4-0 to zero and look to continue the ball rolling here. Now, which they're going to have another full buy here as they look to win their first round of the half. Nothing has went their way so far, so they're going to need to do something kind of different to kind of throw the Saints off a line here but Saints are ready for this A push they have three members here as Fair just gonna sprint in there look for a headshot won't be able to find it there as now the reset comes through Fair just toying with her, his opponents here can't find anything as which the state need to find a something here shots gonna come through from Fair cannot find the kill just yet as Reload's going to come through. There's an op mid for the side of St. Clair Fair. Now going to look to take these gunfights. Marv is going to be the one to find the first kill, though. So it's a good start to the round for Wichita State University here. As they look to push in, a Silver Drone gets a little bit of information. Nice flash. And from Caillou, looks to find the headshot. Is going to find the spray through. Picks up one. Is able to stay alive and looking to push even more aggressively. Truth with the operator here. Helping him out as Chillin is going to pick up a kill. Truth picks up another one. Nice dart there from the, the Cypher. As Thiessen gets spotted out. And Wichita State after a good start to the round. Just looking a little bit rough here. He's chilling. 1v2 defense here. Looking to find it. He's going to get taken down by Thiessen. But that gives away the position. Truth on a huge, huge flank here on this Astra. They have no idea he's here. That's going to be an easy kill. Thiessen does find one more. 1v2 situation in 15 seconds. Not going to be able to get it done. Caillou picks up that headshot. Saints go up 5-0. to zero As they are completely in cruise control right now. It's going to be on Wichita State University to find something to go their way as we're going to get the first timeout of the game. I think it's a good timeout call for which I mean they definitely need to talk about something. They need to get something going because St. Clair is completely running over them at the time. But I don't know what they can do differently. I mean, they have to play a bit more quickly I would say they are playing very very passive very slow and it seems like even on the defensive end St. Clair are the ones taking the challenge to wish to the university they're not letting them get near the site and last round they finally were able to even start a plant but right away the flank from St. Clair was there so just I feel like Wichita State are giving St. Clair way too much time to work with here but on the flip side the Saints, I mean, they're playing their game. They're playing aggressive. They know they can win these individual one-on-ones. And with all the utility they've been using this round, I mean, it's been setting them up for a lot of free kills. And they are very happy with their performance so far as they've continued their flawless run in this league. As This time, it looks like Wichita, I mean, they can't afford a full buy. They have three stingers. You know, definitely a round that they are not favored to win in. As they look for another 
B push here slowly, but they're actually going to leave the spike behind. It's a nice little fake out there. It gets the off shot to miss. Truth going to go for a quick scope there through that smoke is now. This is a great play for Marv. Going to get up close and personal. Truth with the operator. I mean, he's so close to finding that kill as Marv looks to find the chase, but the breach stun is really, really good. Still, Sui will find the first pick. The trades come through. Sui finds a second, finds a third. Smiley find. Did find a couple trades in there, but now this makes it a three on a two situation. Only one HP left on this Astra Fair in a great, great position here. Maybe could find one through the smoke. Sees the Astra, can't find the kill, but there is Junked with the spike going main here. Cypher, he's going to be getting flanked here by Fair. Fair going to go around this corner, looking for this kill. Is going to be able to pick it up. That is a spike down. That is very, very good for the Saints. Low health bars here left for which says the unit University as they are forced to make their way towards the spike here. And let's see how they decide to play this one. It's going to be Sui trying to go around the corner here. Neon though is right on the spike. 30 seconds and ticking here. I mean, which does it have to do something quickly? Their fair is able to spot out the opponent, does get tagged up at one time there but gets the information still Sui now four kills on the round looking for the ace on this Neon, I mean, playing tremendously this round to give his team a, any hope. The plant is going to be going down, though. Chillin' playing this one slowly. Going to let, let this one go down. The Neon wall is nice, but I think Chillin' is just waiting. Here's that that slide went through, I think. And Sui going to let off a couple shots. Has no idea where the Cypher is, and Chillin's going to drop down. It looks like the read is good, though, from this Neon, but the fake plant is going to be able to give Chillin the round. Sui tried their hardest to find that round. Four kills for which to stay University, but still, when it matters most, St. Clair come out on top. And nice one on two clutch there coming out from Chillin. It's going to keep the Saints perfect a game in line as they go up six rounds to zero. And that was a save round for which to stay University, so... I mean, that's a that's a better round than we've seen coming up from them compared to the rest of their game. And they were almost able to come out with a round win. It did take some heroics from Sui, but now, now they have a bit of a buy. Now they have a real chance to fight back, you know, with some real weapons. t though, is going to get stunned up fair. Able to pick up the first kill relatively early. This Neon ult isn't going to get much fair. Picks up the second kill of the round here. And you can see Saints are just swarming them from all sides. Marv does find a kill, but the flank here from this deadlock is nice. Chillin picks up one on to Marv now as St. Clair continue pushing. Chillin does get taken down as which to State are starting to hit their shots a little bit here. Caillou going to go for the swing. Does a little bit of Damage there's truth. Gonna look for some shots as well. Then gets headshot through the wall there. Is able to stay alive, but it's gonna be Caillou with a collateral kill to finish off the round for St. Clair. They go up seven rounds to zero and they just com continue to keep running away with this one. Wichita clearly do not have a good answer for the Saints game plan. They are going to be forcing up a buy here. That is a very risky play from Wichita because if they lose this, their economy is going to be a bit dreadful. They do have four ultimates and I'm expecting them to use a lot of those this round as it's kind of do, do or die here. I mean, they need to get rounds on the board if they want to give themselves a chance at winning this one. But it doesn't look like St. Clair is even going to give them time to come up with a plan here. They look to push in again. I mean, Fair has been here every single round from the look of things just trying to get something going for the side of the saints as he finds a triple kill fair gonna get taken down but that is a huge play from fair's truth finds one more there's an operator here for sui i mean that's a dangerous play when your team is running low on funds kai you gonna find that one and that could just be the round that seals it which says they're going to be completely broke after that one. They can't afford some cheaper weapons, but they're just stuck in a cycle of forcing up whatever they can afford every single round, and that is not a recipe to success. 
they're still gonna have their four ultimates available and they're gonna try to make good use of those as they have not been able to do so so far in this map but St. Clair now have three ultimates of their own and they can look really below things up here is gonna be fair using that neon ultimate but that breach ultimate was very good to counteract it smiley gonna fall as well switch the state with their best start to around so far find the opening two picks as the caillou does get spotted out is not gonna be is able to find one does get traded out now it's a 2v4 scenario. The spike is being planted and this is what you want to see if you're a fan of Wish the State. I mean, we did not see the spike go down at all this game so far. So the fact that they're able to do so in this round gives them a chance. And now it's going to be a 1v3 scenario. Truth does have the operator. So going to look to find an opening pick here. He's going to find it there on to Tsim. But now the last two members know exactly where Truth is. He's going to swap it out to a Vandal. I love that play here. Going to force out some shots. Finds the double swing and finally it's gonna be Wichita State University able to pick up a, a round I mean that is a long time coming from them they came close a couple of times and then finally right there they just close it out and now they might look to start a little bit of a comeback still Saints gonna be feeling very confident they have the full buys they have everything they could ever want but now it's Wichita also fully loaded up they have some shields, they have an operator, still a couple ultimates already. St. Clair also have a couple ultimates of their own to use here if they want to really close out this round. Fair playing very aggressively does get hit by the dart, which will force a fair to back all the way up. But still, Wichita State now looking to go up mid here as fair has been holding this angle for every single round marv gonna have that drone does spot out fair which will force fair to back all the way up in which the state have gotten a lot of progress up mid here they've been able to move past this uh, the saints have not spotted them out at all caillou huge thunder onto two that's gonna be a nice nade will get some damage off for sure does not find the kill and actually biscuits gonna be the one to pick up the initial kill on 5 HP, another good start to the round for Wichita State University. But Truth has a huge position there as Chillin picks up the entry. Junk's going to get taken down. And Smiley is in a huge flank. I mean, they are all staring directly at him. But now gets the ping. Knows exactly where all the members are. But is not able to find too many kills. Only picks up one. Is It's going to be another good trade for Wichita State University. They have a three on two now. It's all up to these last two Saints members. Not a lot of health bars, though, I might add, for Wichita here. As Truth can find one around this corner. I mean, the plan's going to be able to go down. Fair is coming on the flank. That's a nice neon wall. Going to let the teammates walk through a little bit as some dangerous positioning from. Everybody can Truth find the initial pick. No, won't be able to find it. That's going to be an easy kill onto the Astra, though. Has to stay alive here. Truth almost gets shot on the back here, but Tyson doesn't go for that one. But there is an operator left here. For the side of which the you big big walls they don't know the brim though is right behind them the breach is right on the point but the walls do go down in the end they pick up the operator in the back as well a nice 2v3 retake here for the side of st Clair college they are gonna go up nine rounds to one here as they look to close things out sooner rather than later I mean, it's just been a really rough map here for the side of Wichita. They have not been able to find too, too much. And they have a pretty good team comp. But the way they're playing this team comp could be a little bit better. And on the flip side, I mean, St. Clair are just playing very, very good of Valorant. They are not letting Wichita State find any advancements on them. The only rounds Wichita has really showed a chance is when they've had some nice, nice kills. And, you know, that has happened here and then. But just macro wise saints in the right place at the right time as it's going to be a five man a push here fair just going to slide in here i think fair is in a very sticky situation here will get taken down as sui looks for the second smiley though will take that challenge will pick up that kill four on four situation now going to be here as marv is able to pick up smiley 
That's another good kill for the side of Wichita, but Sinclair are here ready to defend. A very aggressive push from Truth, though. He's going to get taken down. Makes this a 4v2 for the side of Wichita, but one gets taken down. Marv gets his third of the round. This should be the round going over to Wichita. I don't know how Caillou's even still alive, but picks up that headshot. Has 3 HP. Needs to find the one tap in this 1v1 situation. Goes for it. It's going to be actually Marv with a 4 kill life there for the side of Wichita State University as they take their second round of the half. I mean, a great round from that again. Uh, from them again. They just found the entry frags there and just kind of walk on the side, plant it down, find the trades when they need to. Almost another amazing clutch from the side of the Saints, but not gonna happen there. A good job from Wichita State University to pick up that round as they've gotten themselves to. It is a last round of the half here, so looks. Are we going to see Saints go up 10 to 2 or which they're going to make it a 9-3? Chillin gets the opening pick onto the ulting Suyan with your knee on that dead, your top fragger. I mean, it's going to be really, really hard now for the side of which let's get anything going. Fair going to find another one. Does get taken down, but the trade is there from Akayu. Good job there on that one. As Marv is going to go for the swing mid here. Does get taken down by Truth here. Junked does find the trade, but now stuck in the 1v3 situation. He's going to look for the shots here onto Chillin, but is, he is definitely not Chillin. 24 HP gets taken down by Chillin. As now it's going to be a nice 10 to half for St. Clair. Now they're going to get right back on to their attacking ways as they've been playing aggressive this entire time. Now they're going to look to play really aggressive on the attack here. And let's see how they're going to start it off. I would expect just to see a quick five-man push onto a site that definitely would not surprise me. Their Neon has been playing very well so far. Fair and he's going to be playing aggressive to say the least. Going to try to get up into the enemies very very early and find those easy easy kills as saints are going to look to close out this map as soon as possible and five seconds of ticking the a side is completely open from the side of which then it looks like saint Clair. that's the site they're going to attack here but they aren't going to go too quickly they're going to play a relatively passive chillin going to get tagged up a lot here by marv i don't think he has any idea kai's in his corner kai with great trigger discipline picks up one picks up two looking to find the third able to find it looking for the fourth gets shot on the side but on in the meantime i mean saints easily get into a site they look to get the plant down it and they do they have the three on two situation now Thiessen does find one in the meantime but St. Clair still have a huge huge advantage they have the post plant in the 2v2 and they have a very very good positioning I mean Fair is in the spawn as soon as Thiessen walks around there he will get spotted out Fair knows exactly where this member is gonna be able to find that headshot makes it a 2v1 situation Junked gets spotted out does tap the bomb Gonna get tagged up a little bit, but now the push is gonna come through from both sides. Smiley gonna shoot him in the back here. It's going to be an 11-2 lead for St. Clair. They're completely running away with this one. They're gonna buy up some cheaper weapons here to try and put themselves on match point. Sui will be buying a Bucky on this Neon to give Wichita State maybe a slight hope at winning this round, but the rest of the team are going to be saving, so St. Clair should definitely be able to take this round and put themselves on a match point, but let's see if they're able to do so, as they are going to push a side very quickly yet again, and it's only Marv on this side, Fair has to know that, just pushes in, doesn't take any damage, picks up the Bucky kill, good job there from Fair Saints, get into the site relatively easy, they get this the plant down, and now they look to win this round. Chillin gonna find a couple with the Guardian there. Truth finds one more. It's going to be a 5v1 situation now. Against the Witch of the Junk taking his time there. Gonna get taken down as St. Clair take a 12 2 lead. I mean, they are looking so, so strong. Definitely deserved the one seed here in the regular season. Now they are just one round away from. Winning this match, uh, winning this this game, they still have some work to do though. Can't get overconfident as Wichita University has shown time and time again. 
they can definitely put up a good fight but looks like a full-on b push gonna be coming through here from st Clair college they are just gonna rush in here and wichita have stacked up a i mean this is just great great play from st Clair, which has no idea the saints are just gonna rush in here but truth Trying to go up mid here, does get taken down, still the plant for the Saints is going to go down. It is a 4v5 retake attempt here, Biscuits is going to get taken down by the Bucky, Chillin finds one as well, gets traded out, Caillou finds junk there, makes it a 3v2 situation for the side of the Saints and just great positioning here from them as they're going to be able to take the first map, 13 to, to a very, very dominant performance from them here as they have closed out the first map, I mean... They were expected to win, and you can definitely see why that's the case. Four of the Saints' five members up at the top there. Just a very, very dominant game from them overall, and just a very, very good job from them. But with that being said, we're going to throw it to a very short a break, and we'll be back with Map 2 in just a second.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are getting into draft here for the second map between St. Clair College and Wichita State University. In map one, Saints were victorious, winning 13-2. to I mean, just a very strong showing from them. They are the one seed, and they are playing just like it is. Wichita, they did put up a bit of a battle. They won a couple rounds and had some very close calls, but in the end, I mean, the Saints... We're just playing with a lot more aggression. I think that's exactly what you need from Wichita now in this in this map if they want a chance at winning this map because last map just playing passive did not work out very well for them. And it looks like I had a bit of a problem gonna be going into the lobby. We did have a PC crash, so I mean we're gonna maybe Wait around, see how long it takes. Shouldn't be able, shouldn't take too too long. But you know, let's just talk about the first map here. I mean, Saint Clair. We're just on the attacking and the entire time, even on defense, they were able to play it over and over. But on the flip side, their opponents just could not find a thing. You know, we're gonna throw it to right. To me, actually. Hello, everybody. Nobody's seen me before. I haven't even introduced myself. My name is uh, Theo, also known as the Holy Juan. It is just me on the cast today, but, you know, pleasure to be here. And it was a exciting first game. I mean, St. Clair just playing so, so well. We're able to get rounds left and right. No matter what they did, I felt like everything was going in their favor. On the flip side, I mean, just nothing I found out. Definitely like to see... A bit of a composition, maybe different from the side of Wichita. Maybe throw another duelist in there. Do something unorthodox, something that's going to throw the Saints off. Because trying to play the Saints uh, band for band just has has not worked out for any teams, if I'm being honest. But definitely did not work for them in that uh, map one. And you now we're just waiting for that player's PC <laughs> to restart. Unfortunately, it did crash. But I'm sure both teams are... Just wanting to get on their way. I mean, Wichita definitely going to be looking to come back in this series. And St. Clair, I mean, definitely going to look to keep the ball rolling. So, I mean, it's very possible that Wichita wins a few more rounds in this map. But, you know, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be crazy if we saw another stat line like 13 and 2 like we did on the last map. So, let's see how things will go and you know it's a map the Saints have practiced very very much they love playing Sova on that B site on this map have the Odin just kind of lock things down and if their opponents don't play quickly and uh, let the Sova set up and spray that wall with the Odin I mean it's going to improve their chances of winning drastically here as a and we're still waiting for that one PC to restart um I mean, there's a couple things which they can do different. They were they they uh, forced a lot of rounds. I feel like when they didn't necessarily have to, they just didn't have enough money. Just you got to take a loss sometimes and accept the fact that you won't have the weaponry to really compete in this exact round. But they just kept buying those stingers and guardians and random weapons. And I feel like if they had a Vandal or a Phantom in some scenarios there, I mean, it would have been a completely different story. So I think just a bit more composure, but also a lot more speed is going to be needed from the side of Wichita if they want to come out and win this one. As We're still awaiting that one player, unfortunately. Having some tech issues, not able to load in just yet, but we're just going to be holding on here. Shouldn't be too, too long as you know, a PC crash isn't probably the end of the world here. But all that being said, we're going to throw it to a very short break and we'll be right back with the second map.
Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, we are just getting underway in this map to Wichita State University up against St. Clair College and yet again we're gonna see it's going to be the Saints on the attack first this time and Wichita State on the defense, they have a KO, Killjoy, a Jet, a Omen and a Sova Saying it's gonna have a very, very similar comp. Actually, I think it's a complete mirror. So both teams playing a hard meta here, and I definitely think that favors the Saints here as they have just been good. So, so good so far. Tyson gonna jump out. Cup finds almost one, but it's gonna be Smiley with a double kill. Caillou and Truth finding one of their own. And now it's going to be a four on one situation. St. Clair easily going to swoop into this A site. Look to get this plant down. And they're going to be able to do so now in the four on one situation. They definitely have the f favoritism of winning this round. It's going to be only Junk left who had a very rough first game. Could not get too many kills on board there. He's going to be on this killjoy here. Looking to find this clutch, but the turret does a bit of damage. Truth finds the wall bang as well, and it's going to give St. Clair the opening round of this first map. A very good start for them. This time, though, you're going to see Sui quickly buying a, a Marshall as it's going to be a bit of a risky play here from Wichita State. They want to get things going and get them going quickly. St. Clair College are not going to look to allow that to happen here. As they have bought a couple Vandals, a couple Guardians. It's going to be just Truth sticking with that Sheriff. As it's going to be another A push here coming out fair. Let's get spotted out by the KO knife. And Les Tyson is waiting here with this stun. Will he go around this corner? The Saints looking to break first. Caillou going to use that Sova drone there though. Waiting for someone to make a mistake here. Throws out that smoke, dashes into it, finds the opening kill. Smiley finds the second. Nice kill from Sui in return on to Fair. Picks up some hope for them, but Marv does get taken down. Spike's gonna go down yet again and in the 2v4 scenario. I mean, St. Clair yet again. Just able to get the numbers advantages. They look to continue their winning ways here. Truth is able to find one. It's gonna be just junk left with the shorty. Looks for a kill there. He's not going to be able to find it. It's going to be another round going over here to St. Clair College. They're now up two rounds to zero. And looking to continue the snowball here. It doesn't look like Wichita State University has done too much to get things back on track here. I mean, St. Clair College has just been running over them time and time again. From the look of things, Wichita just hasn't been able to find anything to go in their favor but now looks like Saints are going to switch things up they will be going toward a B push from the look of things here Marva will find the opening pick onto fair so it's a great start to the round for which state university is they do have the opening kill but it doesn't look like Saints are slowing down Smiley just sprinting in here gonna flash the back here will get a couple as Marv goes down down goes a junk and it's gonna be Saints looking to get the plant down yet again another man advantage post plant situation for St. Clair's been able to get to this position three rounds in a row now and nothing at which the State University has been working chill and finds the opening pick gets taken down uh, Kai gets taken down there by Biscuit as now it's gonna be a 2v3 scenario St. Clair still holding strong that's a nice KO knife seven seconds no ability is going to be able to be used here chill and finds a third of the round makes it a three on one scenario here at St. Clair Looking to take the 3 0 lead, looking to take the bonus here. And it looks like they're going to be able to do so. It's just Sui left on the jet. They know exactly where this player is. They are able to find the kill and they take their third round in a row here. As now, Michigan State University just cannot get anything going for themselves here. It's going to be. Full by yet again from St. Clair, which to stay this time not gonna be forcing up too hard. They do buy four sheriffs. They get a bulldog as well, but it looks like they won't be opting to go for that option here. As 
St. Clair looks like they want to push up on this A site. They have a, st a flash ready from Smiley. It's going to come out very early. The swings are going to come through from everybody. A nice KO knife will suppress everyone from the Saints. And it is going to be t playing very up close here with this nade. They get a lot of damage down with that one. Going to throw it down. St. Clair is going to wait it out. And they will happily do so with Truth now. Going to be pushing in. Know that there's one right here. Looks for those shots. There's actually a couple members there. Truth finds the first. Pushes through with the shorty. Picks up the second. And doesn't have any ammo on either of the weapons. Just trying to take down the jet. But will get taken down there still saying they're going to be able to get on site 4v2 post plan situation yet again and it just feels like St. Clair with such ease are able to get wherever they want get whatever plant they want a nice flank from Junk will be able to find one will get taken down in the process however and it's going to be St. Clair taking their fourth round in a row he has wish the state university just cannot seem to slow them down at all and it's going to give Saints a nice advantage. They have all the money in the world. They can buy whatever they want. But you could see which the University did decide to save last round. So this time they're going to be able to have also very heavy artillery. They have an operator. They have that Odin as well. So a lot of opportunities here for the side of which the state to take this round as they're going to look to do so. And the Odin spray is going to come through from Marv. He's not able to find a kill there as so he's going to find the opening pick on to fair. And it will be able to stay alive, but it's going to be St. Clair on the flip side. They're pushing A site here. They are not playing around. They send off a nice little fake on the other side of the map. And it's going to lead to another kill here for Biscuits. I mean, five on three situation here for the side of St. Clair. As they look to continue their winning streak, but it's going to be a four on two scenario here. Tison finds that kill. Caillou looking for the wall bangs is not going to be able to find it. And now gives away his position, chilling, trying to look over the top of him as the push is going to come through here from which the state university that silver dart was not the best from Caillou, but now the push is coming in, chilling, and Caillou find a couple. It finds a third Caillou from hell doing such a good job here and going to find the fourth of the round for himself. A great job there by Caillou to win and clutch up that round for the side of St. Clair. As now they put themselves up five rounds to zero and they are just completely running over which the State University who seem to have no answers for anything that the Saints throw at them as now it's going to be a B push coming out here from St. Clair from the look of things I mean They've been able to get whatever they want, whatever which site, whatever site they've gone to, they've had success. Whatever the plan is, they've had a success. And Fair gonna throw out a smoke here. We'll just dash straight into the site. That's a great play from Fair, as it looks like there's gonna be no answer. But Sui does pull out the knives, picks up Smiley. Should be able to pick up Fair as well. I mean, this jet could win the round for the side of which the State University here, but is gonna get taken down. The rest of his teammates do not have too much weaponry on their hands but they make it a two on one situation and it's gonna be truth in the one on two able to find the double kill to clutch up the round for the side of St. Clair that's a couple rounds in a row where wish the State University have given themselves an amazing chance at winning the game but winning the round but just could not find anything to go their way there is it's gonna be St. Clair taking their sixth round in a row and they're just completely running over which the state university are now i mean no answer for their opponents here is it's going to be another full buy coming out from both sides but this has definitely favored the saints marv though will get a lot of damage but caillou knows exactly where marv is going to be if you stay in the same spot over and over you will get caught out attacker killjoy going to come out the b site is completely open for the side of saint Clair as Push is going to start coming through. Tyson throws out that flashbang. Is not going to be able to find any picks as, as the Saints continue to push their way into this B site. Sui does find a kill onto Fair. Truth, there's a player directly next to you. Isn't going to pick up either kills there. Now it's a 3v3 situation. I mean, Saints may be getting a bit too aggressive, but Caillou with his hold and just holding down the position, making sure nobody can cross. Biscuit's going to get taken down. Smiley going to find the pick onto Sui. Makes it a 3-on-1 and junked. 
Might look to save the Phantom, but I don't think Sinclair is going to allow that to happen. Another round for Sinclair on the attack. They take the lead 7-2-0. And I mean, it's just a great, a great map from them so far. Even though Fair having a bit of a rough game on the Jet 2-6, and six, but the rest of the team has been able to pick it up and keep things rolling. It's going to be four ultimates this next round for Wichita State University. But they cannot afford a full buy. Let's see if they decide to invest these ultimates in a round which they are definitely not favored in or if they are just going to try and gun the Saints down here. Look, the drone's going to come out from Caillou. Going to be able to spot out that jet and the Kildred turret's going to be taken down as well. Now that there's no jet dash for this jet, that's fair. Looking to find the opening pick. Does get taken down. Truth finds one, finds a second. As Sui picked up Smiley, makes it a three on three situation. So we look to push up. Is able to find the trade there. 2v2 situation as St. Clair uh, finally shown some resistance here, chilling. Not looking heaven, Caillou has that on lockdowns, just the Omen Biscuits, only has the classic. Another round for the Saints on the attack, they get the spike down for some extra credits. And I mean, this is just complete domination from St. Clair, which the state have shown some resistance in these last few rounds, but... St. Clair have just walked on any bomb site they want. They find the kills even when they get even trades here and there. They have the numbers because they are going as five. And I mean, this is a great, great map for the Saints. Caillou up top on that Sova doing God's work with the Odin. And the team is rallying behind that performance. Chillin doesn't have the ultimate just yet. It's just going to TP in to deep mid here as... You could see which the state completely have abandoned B site. They have no no plan if the Saints decide to rotate over. But it doesn't look like St. Clair really care. They're just going to look to rush in here. Chelin sitting in this corner. Oh, that's a huge Sova ultimate coming up from Caillou. Is going to find the one pick onto the KO. Marva finds the trade. KO not dead yet. As Marva finds a couple, Sui finds one more. Another 2v5 here now for the Saints as KO did get rest. But Caillou with the Odin able to find one. It's going to be Truth. Able to pick up one more. Only 37 HP though. Does get taken down. One on three situation for Caillou. This should be very hard to win, especially with an Odin. And finally, Wichita State University show some resistance. They take the round home and they put themselves on the board. Now it's 8-2-1. Still a lot of work left here for Wichita State University. They want to give themselves a chance at winning this one. But, I mean, St. Clair have just looked so good on this map. They have the 4 by Vandals. As they will have everything they need to take this round. It's going to be a swing mid. I mean, Tyson is going to have a lot of work to do here with this Odin. He's going to peek out, throw out that flashbang. But now he's stuck in that corner and he's trying to spray through that smoke. Not going to find too much as fair. Pushes in. Should have an easy opening pick here onto Marvin. Is able to find it. It's just the jet left alone here on this B-side. All four members from Wichita State University sitting in their own spawn. St. Clair is going to march onto B-side. Get the plant down. A very clean round from them so far. Chilling. Missing some shots there up mid. Fair falls down. Chillin falls down as well as, I mean, some life here. But Truth going to shut that down immediately. Look at that flick onto Junked. Beautiful play there from Truth. Picking up four kills in rapid succession. As now it's going to be another full buy here for the side of St. Clair. Wichita State University on the flip side can't afford too much. So, I mean... St. Clair, I mean, they just have been playing a perfect Valorant here. I mean, they've done everything they could ever do to win this map. And you, that is exactly why the scoreline is the way it is. They have the Killjoy Ultimate already in this next round. On the flip side, Wichita State University have three ultimates of their own. Biscuit's going to peak mid, but Truth has just been on fire with this round. They'll even pick up that headshot with the help of his KO. Saints going to be up a member. The kill trail. It's going to come down mid. That's going to cover a lot of a ground here. Thiessen goes for the swing, but there's three Saints members left there. There's a jet on the side of A here for the side of which the, finds a couple kills. Nice job there from Sui, but the KO ultimate's going to come down. 3v2 situation. Plants going down as well. 
As there's a Killjoy on a huge flank here, Truth. There's a Sova directly behind you, has no idea that's the case. Marv picks up that kill very, very easily. I wouldn't be opposed to this Killjoy using this ultimate here as he picks up Smiley. 2v1 situation, I mean, could guarantee yourself the round. Yes, the Killjoy ultimate does go down in the end. But Caillou, if anyone's ever going to clutch it up, it's going to be him. And he's playing very aggressively. Only three seconds left here. Two seconds. Going to get caught by the Killjoy ultimate. And let's see what's going to happen here. Junk's just going to run at him. Doesn't spot him somehow, though. Oh, my goodness. Caillou able to stay alive for a little bit longer than expected. There's still, I think, enough time to defuse the spike. Actually, it's going to be very close. I'm not too sure. And he's not going to be able to find it. I mean, that is a complete heartbreaker for which to say university you get the the player in the killjoy ultimate and you just can't find them around the corner i mean that's a mistake you cannot be making that is a mentally shattering moment as you can see some of which the state university players are uh, in complete disbelief i mean they have not moved any anywhere they haven't bought anything i mean that's just a hard break they're four junked uh, the right play is made, but just have to check that corner and win that round for your team. And now in the last round of the half, Saints going to have all the weaponry they could ever want. And it's going to be a bit of a scuff by here for which the University of Fair is going to push in. Their picks up, junked. Nice start to the round. This picks up a second. Plant's going to go down relatively easily here. Smiley going to be able to get that one down. Fair knows that there's a player around this corner, a couple of players, and is going to get taken down. So a bit of life here for Wichita State University. But Thiessen just kind of sprinting in there, tries to throw out the flash. He is taken down. Sui is able to find one kill with the Guardian on the flank here from Marv. is in full effect. Almost finds that Sova in truth. Should be able to find the last kill of the round here. As Marv got taken down on the other side of the map. It's a very... Very good half from the Saints. They take it 11 to 1, and they are not showing any signs of slowing down. I mean, Sui on the other side, 16 and 11. I mean, when your Jets performing like this, you need to give that Jet some assistance. But the rest of the team, I mean, they only have 18 kills combined. So Sui definitely putting the team on their back and just not able to do enough against a team like uh, the Saints. I think I'm 90% sure which the State University did make it into the playoffs through last chance qualifiers here. So, I mean, the Saints were obviously a huge favorite coming into this one, and they're showing exactly why that is the case. But, I mean, the f opening round's going to start off here. The shot's going to come out. Smiley, Caillou find the first few. Smiley finds the third, and Saints with complete annihilation. The pistol round, fine four. It's just junk left on this Killjoy. That looked very good, but was not able to pick up the kill. Smiley on one HP is able to stay alive. Caillou finds the last kill of the round. We are going to match a point here for St. Clair. I'm expecting both teams to just buy everything they can and we're gonna get a timeout from which the state university i mean I, i'm not too sure about this play i mean it just seems like trying to stall out the inevitable here one eleven to 11 1 to 12 comeback incoming you see biscuits as high host but i hate to be the bearer of bad news and it looks like we might see a knife fight in mid, and it looks like both teams are agreeing to it. I mean, not not a bad idea. Try and have some fun in the game. Tyson said, now nah, we're playing normal. He is a bit of a party pooper from the look of things. I mean, everyone was down. It's 12 to 1. Why not have a little bit of fun in there? Doesn't look like Tyson is going to be there. And uh, Caillou saying, we're going 5 mid. <laughs> We're letting you know where we're gonna go, and I mean a bit of trash talk in the in the in the chat there, but I think it's just a bit of friendly banter between the teams. I mean, has not looked like a very toxic game so far, and uh, a couple of uh, interesting pursuits. Fair gonna have that outlaw able to one shot everyone but biscuits, and I think this position from Caillou is just gonna be very very strong with the outlaw as well. Fair gonna able to find the first pick. As I said with that outlaw, I mean, it's a great weapon on the save rounds. It's chilling. Looking to push through here on the Omen. 
They have no idea he's around this corner. Caillou picks up a second. Chillin finds a third. Gets some shots onto that jet. Junk finds one. Gets traded out. And that is going to be it. A very dominant match here from the Saints. They're going to move to top eight in this tournament. And, you know, they are definitely one of the, if not the favorite for the entire tournament. So, a very good match here from the Saints. They win the series 13-2 to 13-2-1. And, I mean, that's going to wrap it up for us today. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Thank you to the players. Thank you to everyone who made this stream possible. It's just me in here with Ari getting things done. Thank you to our sponsors. We have Alienware, Subway, Tim Horton, St. Clair CC, and the St. Clair Alumni Association. I've been your host, Theo, known as the Holy Juan. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll be seeing you tomorrow.